Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series guys. This is where we find some of the best attack strategies and we make them simple. We break them down and make them easy to use. And guys, they don't come any simpler than this. Ice golems, witches, bowlers and bats, put them all together. It's the ultimate spam attack guys. It's so easy to use. There are the troops. Hello, how are you doing? Let's go over to the other army camp. And who is that? Of course it is Mike. The minion. We'll check out the proper army composition in just a moment and some awesome replays so you can see the strategy in action. First of all, though, guys, we need to go over and say hello to the waterfall. Look at that. Wow. Yes, beautiful. Anyway, yes, let's check out the army composition, then the replay. So there it is, guys. Super Giwi Boo. No, it's not called that. Giwi Boo, whatever. No, get rid of that. We're going to call it, guys. We're going to have to rename it. Ice. Ice Wee Boo. Exclamation mark. Not just one exclamation mark, three, because it's so awesome. So let's check out the troops. Here they are. So we're going to have seven, yes, seven, guys, seven ice golems. They're going to freeze the base all over the place. That rhymes. It's almost like a poem. Anyway, yes, seven ice golems, eight witches, 12 bowlers, one minion called Mike. Guys, Mike is overpowered. He's like an airborne Terminator. He will bring in three stars if you give him the chance. Next, we've got one wizard, one beautiful goblin. That is Gary the Goblin, of course. Gary and Mike are the dream team. That's the troops. Your spells are going to be three freeze, six bat spells, and one rage spell. You can drop one of the bat spells for a poison spell. See how you get on. Your donated clan castle troops are going to be two yetis, one Valk, and a barbarian named Bob. Your CC spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. And your donated siege machine is normally going to be a wall wrecker. Siege barracks sometimes, guys, but wall wrecker normally gets the job done. There's the army. It's awesome. It's fun. And seven ice golems. Wow. Wow. Let's go check out some replays now. Kaboom. So guys, we've got five amazing replays today. Do make sure you watch them all. They're all a bit different. They're all a bit awesome. And they show you how to use this attack strategy in different scenarios. So first of all, first stage of attack is going to be the funnel. Guys, I like using an ice golem on the left and an ice golem on the right with a couple of witches and some bowlers to make your funnel. Then, once your funnel's sort of semi-complete, put in the rest of the troops in the middle. There's the rest of the ice golems, then the witches, then the bowlers, then the wall wrecker and their heroes. And now it's just about getting that wall wrecker into the base and protecting your troops. Don't be afraid to use a Grand Warden ability nice and early and put a rage spell down to help them get into the base. There we go. There you go, guys. There's a rage spell and the Grand Warden ability. Gary the Grand Warden using his ability to protect the troops. Wall wreckers making it inside the base. We've got a bit of a funnel fail on the left-hand side. A couple of ice golems going off for a wander with some troops. That's not good, but it doesn't matter, guys. We're still okay. Wall Wrecker's getting to the Town Hall. Put the other Rage Spell down on the Wall Wrecker, on the troops there to take down the Town Hall if you need to. There we go. Town Hall is down. There we go. So now it's all about those hero abilities and just thinking ahead now, where do I put my Bat Spells? Don't put them in too early, but obviously you don't want to put them in too late. If your bat spells can help the troops push through the base and it's safe to do so, use them. So there we go. I'm putting those bat spells on the multi-inferno, freezing it there, and I'm hoping they're going to fly off to that eagle artillery straight after and take that out. They've been targeted by the eagle artillery, so I'm going to freeze that quickly. Hopefully they'll survive, guys. And look, there's just one wizard tower left up there, and we've got one free spell. Practice placing your free spells down. Don't try and gain an extra second. I always do it. I always think, oh, I'll leave it an extra second, and the wizard gets my bats. So, yeah, nice and early there. Uh, that wizard tower does have the last laugh. And the bats are after him, though. Revenge is sweet. Good night, wizard tower. Good night. We don't have many troops left here, but what we do have, guys is Gary the Goblin and Mike the Minion. There they are, guys. They're on the battlefield now. Three stars in the bag. There's Gary flying off, well, fly, running off quickly to get those elixir collectors and gold collectors. Mike the Minion's just helping out the bats. He's shouting orders to the bats now. Mike is in charge. The Queen, she's not in charge, guys. As soon as Mike is on the battlefield, he is in charge of the army. Mike shouting orders, and you know three stars are in the bag. Thank you, Mike. And I don't know what happened to Gary the Goblin. Uh, I think we could have lost him. Um, moment silence for Gary. I'm not sure he might be there, but uh, yeah, guys. I don't normally leave it this long after the replay, but I'm not editing it out. There we go. We can just have a chat. So next, this was a Clan War League attack. So we've all, all seen this sort of base. This strategy excels against centralized town hall bases. Yes, it still works against anti three star bases where the town hall's on the side, guys, but it's not as effective because you don't have any jump spells or earthquake spells, do you? So here we go. Same tactic again. Ice golem left, ice golem right, couple of witches, and the rest of the ice golems in the center. There's that wrecker. 
Go on, you need to protect it. This is going okay. So you still need to funnel. It is a really good attack. Yes, you just... You've, I'll tell you what you need to do as well, guys, what I remember, is you need to get your troops down really quickly. I'm there. It can be confusing, can't it? You can accidentally hit a hero ability. You can accidentally deploy your wall wrecker, then open it up straight away. But yeah, there we go. Once you've got the main bulk of your army down, you're okay. Town Hall activated. Wall wreckers reached it. This is going okay. CC troops out. Over on the right. Sort of after you've... Uh, made sure your wall wreck is going to reach the town or then sometimes you want to keep your royal champion back it depends on the base sometimes i put the royal champion with the main attack sometimes i put her in the right hand side or left hand side as sort of a flanking maneuver to help out so she's doing really well there ability hit she is making the difference going to take out that expo hopefully the queen's doing okay over there they're taking on the enemy royal champion good night eric the e-dragon you are down and the Royal Champ is being absolutely brilliant. Still haven't used the uh, Bat Spells or Free Spells. Ideally, you want the Bat Spell. You want all of your Bat Spells left, obviously. And two Free Spells, at least, for the end. There they go, guys. In come the Bats. What danger defences have we got left? We've got nothing left that can really hurt the Bats. Lots of Expos and Tesla Farm. They can be annoying. So we're going to freeze that Tesla Farm. And guys, do remember, Tesla Farms are dangerous. They're not the same as a petting farm. Do not try and feed teslas because uh, yeah they can hurt so anyway there we go those bats have done a splendid job down there very good uh, the queen's still going enemy queen go on bats versus enemy queen and uh guys we've got one bat left that's barney the bat go on barney no no there's a couple more sorry i missed a couple more bats up there that queen is really being nasty to our bats now we've got one bat left there he is barney the bat nice bat look one bat guys let's focus on barney there wow I don't know where Mike the Minion is. It doesn't matter. Let's just focus on this beautiful bat. Look at him go. There we go. Without this bat now, it would not be three stars. Well done, that bat. What a survivor. What a survivor. Not all heroes wear capes, guys. Anyway, on to the next replay. Yes, straight edge there. Guys, this strategy loves straight edges. And you'll notice I've got five free spells this time. I've dropped one of the rage spells and I've gone with five free spells. And I find that does work if you're struggling a bit with freezing those wizard towers. Scatter shots. Anyway, sorry. Yes, yeah, straight edge base like this. Ice golems down, witches down, wrecker heroes, boulders, boom. Use your rage spell if you need to. Grand Warden ability. Get that wrecker into the base. And then just watch your hero abilities here we go guys so i mean i really love this strategy it's fun yes like i said before you may struggle against anti three star bases but in the legend league especially or in war or clan war league when you come up against a centralized town hall base it's really good and it's going to get you three stars some of the time guys you just need to practice town hall is down ice golems freezing everything everywhere this is looking good and with this uh, slight alteration to the spells, having five free spells, I know you drop a rage spell, guys, but it gives you so much more flexibility with where to freeze. Uh, you can even use it on the enemy CC troops. But if you've got four spells left for your bats at the end, it's great. Because sometimes, let's admit it, if you use your bats and you've only got two free spells, it can be a bit tricky. If there's three wizard towers and they're spaced across the map, then you're in trouble. Anyway, sorry. Let's have a look what's going on here, guys. Uh, there's some sort of... Uh, altercation in the middle there uh, and I do believe uh, the enemy king is that the enemy king yes it doesn't matter anyway the bats are here with Mike the minion in charge there we go Mike telling them what to do the bats sweeping through the base there we go scatter shot frozen they're really annoying to bats they've taken it out there what's left nothing to take out of the bats so at this point you know you're in with a really good chance of three stars unless an air mine comes out of somewhere follows your bats and kills them uh, that can be painful so there we go this is looking good. No defences left now. We've got enough troops to clean up. Uh, my king's there. We've got a couple of witches. I don't know where Mike the minion's gone. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. I've just had a text from him. He had to pop to the shop. Uh, so he's flown off into the woods. Uh, yeah, he had to go get some uh, groceries. So Mike has left the arena. He's fine. Uh, nothing happened to him. He was not taken out by enemy defenses yes he was i'm lying sorry guys i just didn't want to show you we lost mike so on to our next replay another centralized town hall here we go yeah i didn't like the look of this base when i saw it but i thought you know what let's just put those ice columns down put the witches down put the wrecker in heroes then the bowlers and we'll just let them do their thing i'm not going to worry let's put them in hopefully they're funneled towards the base protect that wrecker and let's go 
So how many? Yeah, we've got. Uh, we've gone back to two rage spells this time. We put a rage spell down. I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking where to put my royal champion. There we go. We're going to put her on the left. I want to put her into that segment there and take out that single target inferno and the scatter shot if I can. But she is being infernoed, guys. Use that free spell if you need to protect your royal champion. It's worth it. That one free spell is worth taking out the scatter shot and the inferno. Test. Sorry, the yetis are now on the town hall, and the town hall has fallen. There we go, guys. That's good. And again, we're looking good. We really need to take out that scatter shot. There's a couple of wizard towers left. So uh, that scatter shot is really normal. We're going to send in the bats. I've had enough of that scatter shot, but it doesn't matter. It's gone. So I've just frozen a single artillery. Single artillery, single target inferno, which uh, was a bit of a waste of a freeze. But I've only got one left now. And that wizard tower was just getting ready to hurt my bats. And oh no, guys, look at this. They've hit the tornado trap. It's horrible. It's horrible. But look, a sneak attack from the right side from some bats. And the arch is there. And we're all right. We've got a few bats left, but they're struggling, guys. They've not got much health. Those poor bats. That tornado trap was horrible. Horrible. And now the Grand Warden, we've only got a couple of bats left. Uh, but we're okay. We're in good shape here. We've got enough troops. Those bats did the damage, took out some important defenses. And now, here we go, guys. I love this strategy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So there we go. Mike the Minion, he's back. Thanks, Mike. Uh, there we go. On to our last replay now, guys. And this is sort of not a... It is kind of central, isn't it? It's kind of an anti-three-star base. On these bases, if you want to get three, you can get two if you go in straight for the town hall normally. But if you want to get three, you're going to have to come in from the other side. Or at least at an angle. What's that? Two o'clock. There we go. Ice Golem's in. Witches, here we go. You know the, you know the drill now, guys. You've, if you've watched five replays, you know what you're doing now. There we go. Yeah, I'm a fan of attacks like this. They're just easy to use. They're nice. It takes a bit of practice, of course, especially with the bats, putting them in at the correct time. Uh, so enemy troops out now. Remember, yeah, we're not... On this strategy, I've mixed it up a bit again, guys. We've got a poison spell. You don't... I don't think you need a poison spell with this strategy. Um, because you've got, you've got the witches, you've got the bowlers. They normally take out the CC troops quite easily. Anyway, the wrecker is being infernoed, but no... We used one of our free... No, we didn't. I think an ice golem froze the uh, inferno there. Town hall. That's the main thing. Get that town hall down. Come on, guys. There we go. So uh, I'm just going to tell you guys that normally what I do is I put a secret code word in my videos. And we're about three hours into this video at the moment. No, we're not really. We're about, I don't know, 10, 12, 13 minutes. I put a secret code word in my video and, uh, videos and I ask you to go to the video comments and put that secret code word there. And then for each and every one of you that does, guys, I'll reply to you. So today's secret code word, guys. Today's secret code word is... I'm just thinking of one. I haven't thought of one. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute, guys. Right. Um, no, I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. Today's secret code word is pelican. The beautiful bird with the, 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 the seabird. They're beautiful pelican. There we go. Sorry. So what's going on here? Sorry, is this actually a three-star attack, guys? Yes, it is. I was trying to be a bit cheeky and get three stars without using the bat spells. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. That bowler and that witch aren't going to get three stars. We've got Mike the Minion, Gary the Goblin, and the Wizard left. So I'm just thinking, where's the best direction to come in for these bat spells? Uh, so I'm just trying to build up the hype a bit. We're just going to put them straight on. That scattershot, that scattershot doesn't know what's hit it. Those bats came out of anywhere, out of anywhere, out of nowhere, out of everywhere. And yeah, there we go, guys. There we go. It was never in doubt. It was. I like trying to keep my bat spells, but it's not always possible. There's Mike the Minion on the left. Beautiful. Mike, just want to show my appreciation to Mike, because without Mike, we wouldn't have any three-star attacks. There's Gary the Goblin on the right as well. He's enjoying himself. Look, he always does. Mike and Gary, the dream team. There we go. Three stars. Guys, let me know what you think of this strategy. Give it a go. It's a fun strategy. It's great. Um, I really do rate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, guys, hit that subscribe button and join the Sumus Army. Pleasure as always. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember the secret code word. See you later, guys. Bye.